And I'm here and today I'm going to go through some ways that I'm making coins right now with a lack of content on Madden. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you a method that might work for some of you, might not work for everyone uh, depending on if you've you've completed the set or not. But let's go, I'll just jump into that as a first method. So there's a few cards that are going for quite a bit of coins in this Theme Diamonds 2 set piece or I guess these sets here uh, to make this night train lane. I already completed all of them and uh, this this method still works especially for how cheap these extra cards are um, but I know this, it's not repeatable so you have to do it on um, if you've already done it on your main account maybe you need to make a separate account and do it on there um, but that's up to you but for those who haven't done this yet uh, I definitely recommend completing the night train lane set and selling it all off after uh, it is a good way to make uh, probably over a million coins doing it uh, but I was going to show you this Taylor maze right here so what you need is you're going to need 12 cards and they you can pull these cards from the reroll sets in the store which I'll show you shortly or you can just buy those cards so what, what you'll need to do is you'll need to check the price of Taylor maze um, and his power up because you get both of them back for completing it. So um, let's just go into the store real quick. Sorry, not the store, the auction house really quick. All right, so when you go in here, I think I already have it saved up, so it should come up. Yeah, right there. So his Taylor May's power up is going for 40k, um, and his actual card fluctuates. So sometimes it's going for 90. Uh, sometimes going for 80. Uh, I've seen it go for over 100. It just depending on how many are on the market and are selling. So if you just hold on to it, you can probably sell it for about 100k. Um, but even if you sell it for 90 plus the 40 here, uh, that's quite a bit of profit. So that's um, 80 plus um, 38, 30. Uh, what? Sorry, 36k. Basically, if you get it after tax, so that's 90 plus. The 36 that you'll get, sorry, not 80, sorry, 80 plus the 36. So that's about 115. Uh, oh, so you just saw a sell. So you probably get closer to 44. So we'll just say 40K for the power up. And we'll say between 90 and 100K. So we'll just say 90K for that. So that's about 130K um, for both combined. So what you want to do is you're going to want to make that set for under 100K if you can. So you can make a pretty decent profit. So there's two ways to do it. You can just buy all the cards from the set, which is completely fine, or you can get training for super cheap on the weekends, like I've told you about before, and then roll these. And then if you ever, you can just sell everything else from there, or, um, and if you get one of those pieces, you can just use it for the set. So that's entirely up to you, depending on how much time you want to put into it. But if you haven't done it, you want a quick profit, like it can take you literally five, 10 minutes to do it. To buy all the cards, so I'll show you them. Um, so I, I have the prices all written down. On these are mind. Keep in mind that these are PS4 prices. Uh, so let's just go into. I'm going to go into the set first. Uh, okay, let's go into the sets, and then we'll go through some of the cards and how much they are caught. They cost. So let's go. These are the cards that you need. Let's, let's have it opened up here. So you need this. Tyler Eifert, which he's going for about between 21k and 25k. Chris Dunlop is going for about 8.5k. Mixon's about 10 to 14k. Uh, Hubbard is sitting around 7k. Jones, uh, I have here, I just checked, was 5k. Dalton was going for 9. Bates was going for 5. Williams was going for 5 as well. Lawson, I saw for 6. Atkins, I saw for 5. Green was five, and William Jackson was three. So I just uh, did a quick calculation of all that. It's under 100k. It's about between you can get you can get this set done for between 90 to 100k uh, if you get those for those prices. Those prices are like will change depending on the market. They're a little bit more up today, uh, just because people are trying to buy. Uh, there's not a lot of people pulling packs, so trading's a little bit higher. Uh, so that's that's what the price is. So that's about a 30k profit that you can just make in five minutes. Like it doesn't take very long to find these cards on the market, sell it. 
Okay, so that's the, the first one. Uh, I would just go through yourself if you want to just check on all these cards, see what their price is, see how much the power-ups are going for as well, uh, see if, if it's worth it to do each uh, set. It's up to you. Uh, I know another one that might be a little bit profitable would be the Joey Porter. Uh, it was profitable the other day. I haven't, um, I haven't checked recently, but just because he has that Ultimate Legend card, so you can uh, definitely check that out. Okay, so just go through each card, how much they go for. Um, you could always check the companion app on your phone, see what they're selling for, because sometimes there's not a lot of them on the market and the prices will be inflated. But you just have to wait it out, and you'll be able to find them for super cheap. So yeah, go check. The market for that. I'm not gonna go through each and every card, but that's basically a way to make I don't know, between 20, 30k every like five minutes for completing the sets. Um, so that's one way. If you haven't completed the night night train lane, uh, this one, and you have time, definitely worth it. You're just gonna need a lot of training to start with, some coins, and just do some re rolls and putting them into the cards that you need and buying whatever, and then selling, quick selling um, the players. But I can always get into that later. It's, it's been this method has been going on for a long time, so I'm sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube uh, who've already came up or showed uh, this method. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on if you haven't done it yet, or if you have time, do it on a second account. Also, really good. All right. So another way that I am making coins right now uh, is by opening these get a player packs. I've been talking, I've made a couple methods on this already, just opening these and seeing what you get. But now that they uh, brought in new power ups, so let's go into the auction house. I'm gonna show you some of the new uh, power ups and how much they're going for. And then we'll open a couple of packs to see if we can maybe pull one of them. All right, so we have uh, one card that is worth quite a bit right now um, is this Navarro Bowman. So let me just put him, type him in, see how much his power up is going for right now. Because you don't need any cards. Um, you don't need to put any cards into the power up set there. So you just have to buy the card and you can use training to get them all the way to a 98, I believe. So he's going for 400k. That is quite a bit for a 79 overall card. So that's a, an unreal card that you can try to pull. So I'll show you what how to try to pull these cards in a minute. But we also got, um, who else did we get? I think we got Cordell Stewart, power up. So let's see. I think he was going for over 100K as well. Yeah, there's his Redux card. 300K for that card. Um, also could get him up to a 98. Uh, EA also released, I think it was Nate Burleson, I believe. Let me uh, type his name in, see if I can see if he comes up. I think he's going for 100, yeah, 130k for him. And then they have recent other couple of other power ups uh, that you can use training to just um, power them right up. So, what you can be doing, especially with those get a player packs, some of the golds are going for over a thousand. If you get a gold that's worth, uh, a, or sorry, a gold that's 70 to 74, you can sell it for about a thousand coins uh, because people are using those low golds to turn into high golds. So basically using this method right here, buying these, just exchanging up to the 75 to 79. So I opened a few, sorry, I, I did open a bunch of these packs, pull some pretty good cards, and then I just have, I put them into sets and I have 75 to 79 overall. I got 17 of these. Um, so I'm going to show, open a couple, see if we can get a power up, see if we can get lucky. They seem pretty rare, uh, so uh, we can try pulling for them. but. It's definitely, oh, here's a power up. Clinton Porsche, not the one we were looking for. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely could be profitable if you want to do that. If, especially if you have cards in your binder that's sitting there that you need to exchange out. Just exchange all your golds and just keep exchanging up. Uh, it's definitely a way to clean up your binder and also maybe pull a 300k card, right? Uh, there's another power up, not the one that we're looking for though. Uh, so yeah, I definitely I think it's right now, especially if those the prices of those cards are so expensive. Uh, might as well pull some packs for them because you just never know. However, I'm not sure if they're gonna end up putting solos in to get those cards because then the price will just plummet. Uh, but for the time being, I just oh my, <laughs> we just pulled a Navarro Bowman. 
400k just pulled a 400k card no way that's awesome <laughs> wow <laughs> i feel like i just pulled a golden ticket <laughs> um 400k card right there and i just and i think i just spent i think 25 to 30k uh making those sets like just opening get a get a player cards and just put them in so i just spent basically 50 30k and got a 400k back uh that i got really lucky but like like i said you never know so i'm probably gonna go and sell that card right away uh i don't plan on powering him up uh i feel like his price will come down eventually once more people start opening packs on thursday and on the weekend you'll probably see a lot more of them come out so i'm definitely going to uh, sell them while the hype is up right now because they're seems pretty rare so uh, but yeah, so that's those are some ways that I'm making uh, coins right now. So definitely uh, try to get on this if you can. Um, but yeah, so that's it for me. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded too much lately. Uh, I just I haven't been feeling that great, and the lack of content is really uh, kind of like a buzzkill, right? They're not nothing's really coming out, so it's really hard to find good new coin making methods without any new promo so yeah let's go have a quick look at um the navarro bowman here that we pulled i just i still can't believe that we pulled this card uh 400k so i'm just gonna throw him up right now for about 400k uh and see if he sells but yeah and then the other thing that i'm doing still is i i'm selling all the cars i invested on the weekend I, I found so many snipes on, uh, let's just do 420. Um, I found so many snipes on the weekend for, let me see, I'll show you some of the cards I'm still working on selling, all these Ultimate Legend cards. So I invested quite a bit of coins into these. Uh, so I started at, I think it was at 6, six million coins, maybe less. Uh, not sure exactly, I can't remember now, but uh, I bought a bunch. I went all the way down to 2 million, and now I'm just starting to sell off all... Uh, my major investments so yeah I'm making quite a bit of coins so far I think I should be close to nine mil coins after all of this uh, once they all everything sells all these VIX and all that stuff so um, I will show you uh, in probably in the next video you'll see how much more coins I have than I do right now so let's see if this uh, Navarro Bowman sells for 420k because um, that was a huge pull anyways that's it for this video uh, hopefully some of these methods work for you uh, like they just did for me. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, make sure you hit that sub button, like the video, and I'll hit you up with another coin making method shortly. All right, peace out.